What's in this box? Well, the Museum of Telephony, I, as you know, I'm not actively involved with this project at this moment, but what happens here is that, you know, I, I, I have the intention of, oh, I'm not going to put you stuff on, and then things just happen, and there's this wonderful lady from New Jersey that, um, um, was downsizing in a lot of vintage of Via, the old school of Via, the 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 AT and T side. Um, there's very vintage documents, and as many of you probably know, one of my abandoned projects because the, it predated the internet was the Dimension uh, PBX, and um, this individual I probably. Since it was I like, since I just got it today, um, I'm going. To, I'm, I had this in my kit, my family's kitchen in the peninsula, and um, yeah, I have time. So, um, yep, she put my uh, legaline down. It's all right. Well, I go by clickers more and more. Um, opening up this package. Box has seen better days. Away from you, away from you. To the camera, who cares if I poke the damn thing? Ugh. Well packaged. I thought I was gonna get something else from like Scott Flybush because I'm, I'm, I got a calendar from him and I haven't gotten that yet, so. The tower or calendar of the year kind of thing. Got to hit him up on Facebook perhaps. Yep, so So um essentially I got this um message a PM um about mid April because I was um out of state for the world renowned National Association of Broadcasters Conference. So I was not home, um, barely was uh, had time for Facebook and stuff like that. So um, with that being said, there's a lot of cool uh, stuff in here, which some of the stuff um, is actually more than I expected. So the first book here is the Engineering and Operations of in the Bell System. And this one looks... Uh, because I do, yep, so this is the very first edition. Now, you see me do a video review of one I got from the um, Qualcomm library of a follower or, or, or somebody from 2016. So this book is actually predates this by uh, several years, although this was printed in 1981. Uh, 1982 is kind of like an epilogue of that um, edition because it's with the impression that oh, yeah, the bell system would be broken online. up. So this this is um, the very first one. I appreciate that. I had a feeling um, if I got to a book, um, I'd still be happy. Box, I don't yeah. have a jacket um, for the first one. And I believe the first me, one, i.e. the second um, edition, it, it actually um, um, had fiber optics, if I'm not mistaken. I actually searched on the Amazon for it, so I'm really happy with that. Um, really nice packing again, I have to compliment. Um, this is the, oh, New Jersey Bell, so she worked, like I said, with the Bell system, and I'll tell you more of that at a later point. Uh, uh, telecommunication Electrical Protection. Where did I have this book when I had my IP office? Almost catch up and smoke, not only once, but twice. Um, I bet you there's nothing in the this documentation that would have anything about protecting PBX systems in residential environments. Um, I could be damned and I could be wrong, but, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Um, like I said, this is, um, a lot of this is, uh, predates, um, predates the, the divestiture. So it's really old stuff, but it's really cool. One big one, she did tell me. Oh, wow. Yep, so I'm going to be really careful with uh, Manufacturing in the Future, the History of Western Electric. Oh, I've never 
part of this book. You learn something new. Um, oh, that is really nice. There is a note from somebody, um, basically to um, this individual where they must have gave it to the Lucent employees. Um, this I'm probably going to read because I kind of think there's a lot of history that people want to bury. And I'm not that kind of guy. So, um, this is the big boy here. Oh, this one was probably what broke the, the weight here. New Jersey Bell, again. Um, this is back when the Bell system marketed these things and included the local Bell companies. And, ooh, oh, I got a note on the bottom. Oh, thank you, and you're very welcome. You're very, very welcome. Now, this one's a little bit, uh, there is some dirt fused in with the things. I'm going to probably figure a way to clean this off, but, um, oh, be careful. It's history here. I take history very seriously here. Um, so... I know a little bit about the Dimension PBX. I know that they scaled small, scaled big. Um, 4,000 and 2,100. Yep. Um, this is a sales letter. Oh, it was supposed to be destroyed on November 1st, 1980. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, and obviously New Jersey Bell became Bell Atlantic which then merged with uh, Ninax, right? And then, who, how did Verizon get formed? I forget. It's been, it's been so many mergers and acquisitions, you, even someone like me gets uh, confused. Um, so a lot of the stuff, this individual did sales and um, marketing for the um, dimension. And again, the phone company, this was the only electronic phone system that was marketed by the Bell system, i.e. The, the Bell companies, before 1983 when all the, the breakups were occurring. And then at that point, the parent, at and was marketing the system, selling by PBX, the, the Merlin, and stuff alike. Um, so this was like, like I said, it was the only... Um, uh, system at that particular moment. Um, a lot of this stuff, um, like I said, disappeared um, in history because um, this system was basically end of life by the 90s. I don't think a lot of places had um, the dimension installed, but in comparison, the the, the Nortel um, SL1, I think that was made around the same time frame, had more longevity, which I find kind of ironic that you'd see more vintage um, Northern slash Nortel systems in um, in the 90s or even the 2000s, and then something like the dimension being disappeared a little bit faster. Um, that's just from observation and some um, research. Um, so a lot of this stuff, uh, tariffs, it's a lot of really, um, oh, because this was marketed by the phone company, that's why you would have PUC, that'd be for the state of New Jersey, yep. Um, a lot of this tariff stuff for, um, on-site stuff has disappeared um, but this this um, this is like pre-sales and I, I'm kind of familiar with that um, with that it's um, this will give you um, comparison of how the dimension is versus what the divinity or its other systems were um, yeah the the best Customer registration, how that actually got of all pages that kind of got a little bit roughed up. I'll, I'll probably see if I can scan some of the, the, the pictures and oh, and look at the infamous MET telephones that um, of the same vintage of the Nortel um, or Northern um, wedge phones, but um, the the dimension um, METs really. Um, really were, were outdated by the time 
the mid-1980s art, and I've already explained this on the museum, um, the wiring and its uh, user um, interface was very um, oxymoron-ish, because um, it had like the functionality of a um, multi-line phone, but it can only do one line, so it's that kind of weirdest, or, or a POTS phone that had multiple buttons and, and lights and stuff like that. It was kind of a little bit odd in that sense. Um, there's no end user uh, documentation that I could see of in this particular instance, but this is better than um, than nothing, and I really appreciate this. And like I said, this this means a lot. And I I, I tell you, I got I got people liking the page and messaging me. I had another message or a comment or something like that um, since the first of the month and we're not even at the end of the month yet because it is April 29th and I made an announcement before April Fool's Day so it wasn't a joke. Um, I really appreciate this stuff and it means a lot and um, and hope you like this page and, and the stuff even though I don't have a lot of time of lately to improve it. I, if I do another move on it on the museum, it's gonna get it. Uh, it's gonna get a permanent home outside of WordPress and stuff like that. But do follow me on Facebook and Instagram and um, my 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 personal profile, and um, you'll see more of this. So that's all for now. Until next time, which may not be, which might be closer than you think. Have a good one.